I am really excited this month to answer some questions for Ripper's Coffee Shop because it's all about what's your trade show strategy for your business. And, and I have a lot of ideas, but you know, I thought I should really check with my VP of sales. And that's why I have my nephew, Aaron Antis, who is our VP of sales and production. And he's here to talk about what our trade show strategy is because he's the guy that's in charge of all of our sales. Aaron, tell me about trade show strategies here at Antis. Yeah, so uh, one of the biggest things that we do is we really try to stand out, be different, get noticed, get attention in any way that we possibly can. Uh, the, the theme might be focused a certain way, but we really try to stand out in a different way. So one of those themes that we've had at the trade show is made in California. Rather than do something like a winery like everybody else was doing and have wine tasting at, at their booth, uh, we went a different route and focused on what we're doing here in California to, to make a difference. And so uh, we- Wasn't that a habitat, habitat build? Habitat. That was a habitat was build, yep. So habitat we, build. we got yeah. everybody to, all these people to sign up. Uh, you can see all the names down here for all these people that signed up to come to a habitat build. And that was because we were dressed in, dressed as a house, dressed as a nail, dressed as a hammer, dressed as a roofer, uh, just something that nobody else was going to be able to really copy. That's awesome. So you said you dressed as a hammer and a nail. I mean, you, Aaron, do you dress up at these events? Is that possible? Oh, yeah. I always dress up as, uh, at these events. I think that's the way I've gotten my start and got noticed myself and kind of created my own personal brand was being a little bit daring, a little bit uh, on the edge, uh, dressed up as an elf, super tight tights, went around for three weeks every year to all the management companies that we service for like six years, was on the front of our boat yelling at people. Um, and I still get callbacks for that, that people want me to dress as Aaron the Elf, or they've heard about Aaron the Elf before they've heard about Aaron Antis, which is also great. Yeah, you were you you helped us get notice in the HOA industry, which is who we sell to. But you also became a fixture at the Newport Beach Light Parade, and you used to do this thing. You're up on a boat and you had these tights on, and you had a megaphone. And what did you used to say? I'm sexy. Okay, I don't know why that worked, tight. but you know we've kind of mixed that with donating habitat roofs, and I don't know. It, it was a good mixture. We got noticed, and we kind of do that at trade shows. What else do we do? Uh, some of the things that we do as well is uh, custom giveaways, really try to make it push, push the envelope. So as you'll recall, recall about a decade or so ago, we did a, a Roof God t-shirt and uh, the theme Roof God was kind of pushing the envelope at that time. About what, one out of 10, one out of 20 would kind of get a little offended. Um, but it got us attention again. It started the conversation. People went to bat for us on it, that it was a good idea. Um, and people remembered us, which was huge. That's a good point. We actually offended people early with that, <laughs> but we had a marketing concept and advisors that was saying, if you offend one out of 10, you'll get their attention so long as you're not out and actually hurting anyone. Wow, that was so Carl's Jr. at the time for us, but I'm glad we did it. Yep. What else you got, Aaron? Uh, I think the, the last thing that I would say is to try to memorialize the trade show. Um, try to get photos of what you're doing. Get people into your booth. Not to, not to just give them something to walk away. Get them into your booth. Take a photo. Give them a, a, a picture frame with that photo in it later. That's a reason to reach back out and touch base with them again. Sounds like a selfie opportunity. We are the, <laughs> exactly. we are the kings and queens of the selfie. And Aaron, you are the king of the photobomb. Do you, you. you know how to make a photobomb sell? Can you make that work in a trade show? Have you photobombed in trade shows? Oh, yeah. All the time. Every time I can. Photobomb in your booth, dressed up as an elf in a trade show, pushing good on habitat builds. Is that our secrets to success in trade shows? Me likey. All right. Thanks, Aaron. All right. Thank you. All right. See you next month.